what's up? It's your home goods home girl, Alyssa. Yep, it's me. Um, it's about 4.30 on a Friday. I was about to leave this house. I know I have a call at 4.30. Um, so I want to eat a, I must say a snack um, real quick, some fruit and some toast. Do I want raisin toast or avocado toast? I'm feeling like I want raisin toast. This is the best kind, sun-made raisin toast. If you know, you know. Um, oh, I need my hair done. I check my hairdresser's website like twice a day to see if somebody canceled because um, what I think I'm going to do is go to my other homegirl. She usually does my faux locks and my braids and stuff. Um, all I really want is like a, I mean, it sounds old school to say roller set, but like that um, hair tightly curled up and call it a day. And in the meantime, I will put my flowers in the vase, in my new vase. Not new vase, in the vase. Let me move this. I could keep my toaster out. I just don't like it. I don't like that. And it's literally stuff lined up against the, on the counter everywhere. Um, and it's funny, it's some most of it's decorative. The stuff I actually need and use is tucked in the um, cabinets. I low key wanna put some of these cookbooks in the cabinet. I feel like I have too many out and I'll just display one at a time and switch them out from time to time. Let me show you. So here's the kitchen, so I've got my let me step back it's like a not a U, but kind of like that real cute real cute light gotta take my trash out but this is the infamous fridge my little entryway table but the infamous fridge cabinet on this side the tile and then my little coffee and wine bar right here perfect fit i mean i knew exactly what to do with that corner when i saw it then here's the dishwasher cabinets above and then my little candle nook. I don't know what they use this for, but it's perfect for me storing my candles. Um, sink, come around more cabinets, stove, microwave, and that's it. So it's pretty small, but it gets the job done. I don't cook that much. When I do, it's simple stuff. So, yeah. So, I was saying here, I like the idea of my my um, cookbooks, but I feel like I have too many out. Um, I possibly want to put all these away, only keep one out. But I have that one too. Um, keep one out for looks or only keep two out leaned for looks and just not have one sitting on a thing like I have that sitting on a thing I don't know you let me know in the comments below what you think I just feel like even though there's enough space to do whatever I'm gonna do here let me take this toes getting cold yeah black enough but anyway um was i saying take this away and just have like two to three leaning and keep it like that or take all those away and only have one book leaning there to complement the one there or take all these away and just switch out this book from time to time and call it a day um i don't know i don't know what the answer is i don't even know where i would put these books if i'm not using them probably under here somewhere so this is like my water cabinet and vitamins. Um, I don't even remember what I put in those two black bins back there. But that's how you know, like when it's starting time to purge and stuff, you can just throw stuff away. Cause clearly I ain't looked in there. Um, but I have my to-go coffee cups. I always put my um, paper towels back there. I just moved my vitamins up here from being under my bathroom sink. I thought that was smarter because I always drink water before while i'm making my coffee i drink my eight ounces or so and i might as well just take my 
vitamins while I'm standing here drinking water. So that was my thought. Um, Y'all want to see this, but I'll show you anyway. It's under my sink in the kitchen. Um, just cleaning supplies to the left and then these two vino boxes I just got the other day. I really wanted them. I don't think I'm using them in the best way. But yeah, right now they're just holding um, gardening gloves, um, plastic gloves to wash your dishes, stuff like that. That's it. Um, yeah, so. so that's all I really wanted to show. But um, now I feel like now my other piece of toast is ready. So me trying to multitask my bamboo. Um, nice. Me trying to multitask and uh, that's kind of black in a good way. It do my flowers while while my um toast was toasting. I ain't gonna be able to do it because now all the toast is ready and I'm ready to eat it. I should hurry up though because I got them last night, these flowers, and I don't want them to wilt too much before I get a chance to put them in the vase like I need to. And um, yeah, I usually put my flowers in the same two vases. Let me make these a little blacker. Oh, I done burnt my toast, y'all. I'm trying to get to this movie. So I'm not really a movie person. I'm a movie person at home because I'm that friend, that girlfriend, that sister, that daughter that falls asleep on every movie, every single movie. Even my nieces, they'll be like, you probably don't remember because you probably fell asleep on it. And they right. I did. I'm sure I did. Okay, the light didn't help. But I'm going to get out of the car, grab my stuff because I'm already eight minutes late. But it's previews and whatever. So as I was saying, I'm taking myself on a movie date. Um, I don't really go to the movies, it's not my thing, but I'm here, um, I haven't seen Woman King, so I figured I would check it out. Um, and I haven't eaten, I'm really hungry. I, I'm low-key tempted to go to a restaurant and get something take it in a movie because I don't want to be subject to whatever kind of food they got that I don't like. I'll get out of here. Get me out. So hopefully this movie is entertaining. I hear it's kind of graphic but I'll just close my eyes and we'll be good to go. So the issue with my procrastination. <sighs> Got them yesterday. I think that was yesterday. Feeling lemon water. 
Anyway, y'all. Okay, the movie. Woman King. Amazing. Great. Don't know why I was so late to see it. I will say, I feel like I didn't even see the previews until it was like the week of it coming out. It, I, I, I didn't even know it was happening. Oh, they're wilting. I'm not gonna do my whole thing like I usually do. Um, but yeah, so it was a really good movie, really good film. Great actors and actresses. Viola Davis was amazing. Um, the young lady who played her supporting um, cast member was amazing. She was really young. I wonder how old she was in real life. Um, on the movie, she was supposed to be 19. Yeah, it was it was so, it was wow. It was a wow movie. Um, there is a lot of killing, a lot of murdering. So if you don't like that, there's just one portion where you really should probably turn away. Um, the rest wasn't so bad. I mean, there was still a lot of killing, but it wasn't like anything I couldn't bear. Um, but I'm gonna take some of these leaves off. But um, yeah, it was it was a really good movie. I recommend it. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. She better get an NAACP for this. Viola better. Something. So baby, she had that accent down. Um, the homie is supposed to be somewhere in Africa. I'm trying to. Oh no, one of the heads came off. I should see if that's a real was a real country or um, tribe or area in Africa. I really don't know. <clears throat> I probably should have looked it up before I went to the movie, but anywho, just wanted to share that with you. Um, go see the movie while I finally put these roses in the water. Let me cut this one. I didn't see that one. There we go. Um, not my best work, but they'll do. Hopefully, they'll, the ones that are wilting will peak, peak, pipe up by the morning. It's so crazy. It's only 10 o'clock. If I would have stayed home, I would have still been up, not ready to go to bed. Been a very long week very busy week um i've got got a good amount of things to be done over the weekend i made my little evernote list <sighs> it's about 11 things on there we'll see if i get any of it all of it done whatever no pressure but um dry cleaner oh my gosh so my mom's I want to say it was her aunt passed away um in the and she um had a lot of clothes and her daughter was giving away a lot of her clothes but they were very nice well-made clothes my mama gave me a St. John's dress. And I swear my mom said that the size of these clothes were kind of big. I need to go that way. Um, but this dress happened to be a four. So really well-made clothes. I mean, in fast fashion or 
whatever. I wear a six in contemporary clothing or designer clothing, I wear a four and it fits like a dream. So I took it to the cleaner and sh the lady saw the tag and was like, oh, this is a special item. I'm like, oh, how much to clean this? $28 to dry clean this dress. Woo! But she said it means special protect and you know, there was all kind of decals and stuff on the item. It's so pretty, but it's gonna cost me. That's all right, I, it was free to me. So, yeah. I don't really know where I'm going. I mean, I know where I'm going to the car dealership, but I'm gonna pay attention and listen to some tunes. And I'm gonna call you back, girl. I'm gonna call you back. Sweet like mangoes. Sweet like mangoes. And it only had like 86,000 miles, right? Right. Okay. All right. Where is my other phone? Y'all, I could barely keep up with one phone. I don't know why I have two. Um, the car was really cute. Really, really cute. Um, I have to check on some things and then I'll be able to really know Monday I'm gonna move forward or not. Ooh, I am just checking these things off my list, honey. I had like 12 things on my list and now I'm down to seven. Um, I went to this, I went to the storage, dropped off my dry cleaning, went to the post office, went to look at this car. Something else I did. Uh-oh, what am I missing? Oh no, but now it's gonna go over to the rental um, and do some measurements. <sighs> Let me see how far I am, cause if I'm super, super far, I'm not going over there. All right, so I just left Marshall's. I got this really cute cardigan that I absolutely didn't need. Um, it was very well made by Ellie Tahari, and I wanna say it was 30, $34.99. And then of course, when I was in line, I saw this headband. Um, it's like, it's like bejeweled. I never know who has the right of way in this situation. Okay, great. Um, Atlanta, there we go. Bejeweled headband. I have one already that's like, a, it's a bunch of different colors. And then I have one that's like just blinged out rhinestone diamond and this one was rhinestone diamond but it was black i thought oh that's cute um, just so i have one for any occasion because once i've a couple times i've wanted to wear it but i'm like the colors were too much and then the diamond was like not enough anyway so i got the black and i'm not getting no more um, but this sweater is so cute it's a cardigan it's online so it comes like to my lower thigh and then make sure I'm going the right way I am and then it has gold buttons on uh, its pockets and up and down back from all my errands and you know I bought something I bought this Ellie Tahari cardigan it's so cute this is a small clearly it's um, oversized so I figured I would try it on with my Hurt Sergio Hudson gloves I got from Target. Let's see. I feel like it's gonna be a lot. <clears throat> I won't watch, so hopefully it goes up. Kinda sorta not really. It's giving me breakfast at Tiffany's. So what do you think? I like it. The Saturday night, I'm at the crib. 
talking to y'all. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to watch like two more YouTube vlogs or if I want to start from scratch, um, the movie from scratch. I think it's on Netflix. Everybody says it's so good. They be crying. Oh, woo -woo. So I don't know, but thank y'all for rocking with me today and my errands. Um, I don't know. Will I record tomorrow? I should. I have a couple things to do, so we will see. But if not, peace.